Hi everyone, Mr E here, hope you are well, hope you are keeping safe. Uh, our next activity for Forest School is all to do with this glorious bright thing that seems to have appeared in the sky over the last couple of months. Something we haven't seemed to see for a long, a long time. And it's the sun. I'm going to give us a couple of activities we can do today using the sun um, and hopefully we'll learn a little bit along the way. So, did you know that you can use the sun to help you gain a sense of direction? And that's the first task we're going to have a go at today, is we're going to make something called a sun compass. Now a compass is something you can use to tell which direction north, east, south and west are. So you put your first stick in the ground like this, and it casts something called a shadow. Now a shadow is cast when an object which is opaque blocks the sunlight and it casts the shadow on the ground which happens to be the same shape as the object which is casting it. So the stick casts the shadow onto the ground, you need to get then a second stick and place this at the end of the shadow, like this. Now we have to wait a little bit now, I wonder if you know what's going to happen to that shadow if we wait, let's have a look. Okay, so what can you, you can see has happened is the shadow has moved and the stick that we put in the ground is no longer at the top point of that shadow. What you need to do next is you need to get another stick and you need to now place that at the tip of the shadow and you now have two sticks there. Okay, you can take your original stick out now and if you lay that across the two sticks that you have put in the ground. That is now what we call an east and west axis. This is because as the sun appears to travel through the sky, what's actually happening is the earth is turning and it's turning anti-clockwise. And so the sun moves across our sky in the northern hemisphere in the southern part of the sky and it moves from east to west. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So we have a west to east line there, which means that now we can find our north to south, because if that's west to east, that is north and south. Okay, so the top of my stick, oh, it's just rotating on the ground because of the wind, let's put it underneath. Okay, so that direction is north, and that direction here is south. So now I know which direction is north and which direction is south. So that's how to use the sun to make a compass. The next activity we're going to do is to use the sun to tell the time. We're going to make a sundial. So I'm going to show you what I've done in my garden. Here you see I've got my fire circle that I've made. I'm not using it as a fire circle today, I'm going to use it as a sundial. So I put a tall stick in the ground and the stick is casting a shadow. Now the time if you can see my watch, it is nearly midday. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark on the brick on the edge of my circle a line with some chalk and write it down as 12 p.m. Then I'm going to come out each hour on the hour and mark a new line where the shadow is falling on my circle. And that is going to create for me my sundial. So I know when I come out, I can tell using the shadow of from the sun what the time is throughout the day. A traditional sundial would have a triangle in the centre rather than a stick. This would be a right angled triangle and the other angles would be determined by the longitude of the location of the sundial. I wonder if a year five or year six child could find out the longitude of the UK. Our final activity is a game I'm going to call copycat. With there, a member of your family, stand with your back to the sun, casting your shadow on the ground, and just do some silly actions, make some silly shapes, and the person next to you has to copy. It's great fun. I hope you have a really good week, and I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>